The man identified so far only by his first name, Alexandre, was arrested by police early this morning in a western suburb of Paris. During interrogation, he's said to have admitted to carrying out the stabbing attack last Saturday on a French soldier in the city's shopping district of La Défense. Security officials said they had clear video of him offering up a Muslim prayer only minutes before coming up behind his victim, armed with a pocket knife. Je ne peux que souligner ici la violence de l'agression. I can only underscore the violence of the extremely rapid attack on the soldier. And the fact that the intention at the time was to kill seems very obvious, as the perpetrator did not hesitate, as is demonstrated by the imagery, to strike several blows with remarkable determination. Traces of DNA from the attacker were found on a partially drunk bottle of orange juice he left in a plastic bag at the scene, along with another knife. The police discovered he already had a criminal record for a series of petty crimes he committed as a minor. They also said he converted to radical Islam at the age of 18. He turns 22 on Thursday. The security services here in Paris have been on high alert ever since the French intervention in Mali. They're showing no sign of dropping that guard now. The police say the man they arrested was homeless and unemployed, and they believe he acted in the name of his religious ideology and wanted to attack someone representing the French state. Residents of the town of La Farrière, southwest of Paris, where the man is said to have come from, described him as frail and a troubled person. I think he was a really isolated person. It was an isolated act and this person was in search of himself and perhaps did this because of what happened in London and wanted to create competition. Neighbours in the area also said there were no local mosques where he could have been indoctrinated. The attack has come as a surprise to all of them. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Paris. And in fact, David can join us live now from Paris. And David, the French police seem to be very keen to stress that there was nothing in the suspect's previous behaviour to suggest that he might become violent. That's right. It's a, it's a great difficulty for the uh, security forces here and, of course, in the UK to try and isolate the individuals who might have been so-called self-radicalized. Uh, all they can do in this case is try and find out if there were any background information they missed in this particular case, talk to the friends and the family to see where they might have uh, had a path that would have led them to some suspicions about this man. But it's an almost impossible task uh, to keep a watch on so many individuals when there's no real reason to. And uh, this just shows the scale of the problem facing security forces here in France and the United Kingdom in such cases. He was described, uh, this man Alexandre, as, as fragile and a loner. And uh, how can you ever look into the mind of such a person? Uh, all we know is, of course, he might have been uh, looking at the attack in Woolwich in London and thinking that perhaps he could launch something similar. But of course, this is mere speculation. I think it's going to take a lot of interrogation before they find out exactly what motivated him. And perhaps they might need some psychiatric intervention as well to find out exactly what's happening in, in such a case with such a man hasn't been charged yet. What happens next? Well, under the uh, anti-terrorism law uh, here in France, they have 96 hours in which to uh, talk to a suspect before they have to lay charges in any court. But uh, as we've heard already from the uh, Paris prosecutor, he, does, uh, he has admitted that he did take part in the attack and they've got very clear security camera video of him launching the attack with his pocket knife. So I think that uh, what's going to happen is that after the 96 hours, after thorough investigation, interrogation, charges will be laid against him here in a court in Paris. David Chater with the latest there from Paris. Thanks so much, David.